In order to get the full meaning of the video, make sure you guys watch the whole video. Please, just watch the whole video in order to get the meaning of this whole video because it's more than what you guys just see, I promise. And do not forget, if you want to win a free Burman TV t-shirt, I'm doing a giveaway for hitting 2K subscribers. I'm almost to 3K now. The giveaway going on for a whole month. So if you guys want to win a Burman TV t-shirt, go ahead and click that very first link in the description and enter to win. It's very easy, guys. I promise. Just if you want a Burman TV t-shirt, only if you want one, click that first link in the description. What it is, what it do, bro, man. Crew. Gotta do this. Gotta do it. Like I do it. Like, like that. Yeah. yeah. We good, guys, man. We back with another video. Back like we never left, man. Make sure if y'all enjoy, y'all go ahead and smash that like button, comment, and subscribe for your boy. Go ahead and subscribe to her YouTube channel. I'm just playing. She ain't got our YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we finna go ahead and do a reaction to this Kenneth Kenton Jones. I don't know how to say his name. Excuse me if I'm saying it wrong. But why do they bully? It's like about that kid. He was getting bullied in, in school and people was picking on him. I've been doing my research on it. I haven't I haven't watched the video, but I've been seeing like some stuff over the internet about it. And I just want to react to this video before I actually tell you guys what I've been looking at and stuff and things that I found. Without further ado, let's go ahead and start this video. You know, you already know how if you watch the other video, you gotta start like this, you gotta swear like this. So I so you gotta be like, ooh, boom. Ready? Okay. Say go. Can we put the camera on this side? It's my good side over here. <laughs> you said, can we what? Can we put it on this side? It's my good side oh, over here. So keep it on this, this side. This is my bad side. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, why do they bully? What, what's the point of it? Why do you find joy in taking innocent people and finding a way to be mean to them? Uh -huh. Not okay. What do they say to you? Call me, they make fun of my nose, they call me ugly, they say I have no friends. What'd they do to you at lunch? Put milk on me and put a hand down my clothes, they ran at me. Is it just you? Yep. Or is it other kids too that feel that way? Say it's other kids too. Mm -hmm. How's that make you feel? I don't like that they do it to me and I feel sure I don't like that they do it to other people because it's not okay. Uh -huh. People that are different don't need to be criticized about it. Cause it's not their fault. Uh -huh. But if you are made fun of, just don't, don't let it bother you. Just stay strong, I guess. Uh -huh. Hard. It's gonna make me cry. Hey, why you make but me watch this? I'll probably get better one day. Why you make me watch that, AJ? Oh, I'm crying. You know, my mom is a cry lady, but as y'all see, like, that's, that's like, Poor baby. yeah, like, it's really messed up that it had to happen to their kid, because, you know, people are born like that, and just for you to talk about people, and like, especially the things that he was saying in that video. Yeah, he is really hurt. And don't you work with, like, people like that, too? Yeah, I work for, um, I have worked for special school district. Oh, Lord, that's not that's mess with me. Okay. Um, yeah, I worked with special school district for 10 years. And, um, I've seen a lot of stuff like that happen, but, um, that's, that's, that's really hurtful. You know, and it's really tough on them now because they put <clears throat> special, um, they put special needs and with gen ed kids um so it to for them to you know mingle together and and it's supposed to be good for them to do stuff together you know they're supposed to be able to mingle with their peers but stuff like this happened and that's sad you know that's what that's the risk is something i'm doing it and i think that's that's just crazy yeah. No, they should be able to mingle with their peers and be able to be around people without them bullying them. And that's, that's where's this video from? Uh, I'm not even sure. I got to look it up and see where they're from. It don't, it don't say where. Wow. Uh, that but it is. happens all the time. You know, um, I drive a school bus for uh, now for a district and it happens all the time. 
Mm-hmm. And it's so unfortunate that kids have to really deal with that type of stuff. It's just sad, like. You pour milk on them and yeah. call them out his name. Put stuff down his shirt. Yeah. Like, this stuff is sad. And actually, they have started a GoFundMe and they got, they raised a whole lot of money for a GoFundMe. I'm not sure what it's for though, but I mm-hmm. looked up some research and I haven't actually got to see the GoFundMe, but I heard like they actually have a GoFundMe for them and it's raising a lot of money right now. I don't, but I did some other research about it and I'm finna show you. So even though like this got nothing to do with the kid, you know, not not all kids are born like, no, I'm not saying. Like, it looked like he is. may have had a surgery or something yeah, like that. Yeah, how, how it is. You know, whatever was going on with him, he didn't deserve to be bullied. Yeah. He didn't deserve to be picked on or teased or made fun of. He probably just want to have friends and have people around. Yeah. When I was a kid, I was probably seven. No, I was probably about ten. I had a friend who was deaf, mm-hmm. and she used to have the same type of problems. Like people didn't want to be her friend because they didn't understand her and the kids were mean like they would say uh, I'm gonna call her out her name because she can't hear me anyway you know and I used to be the one to stick up for her like, because, that's not cool yeah that's not cool you can't do that type of stuff that's why this type of stuff it breaks my heart to see <clears throat> stuff like that happening who's making me cry again <laughs> you know I'm sensitive Woo. Yeah. sorry mama uh, stop AJ you knew this was gonna make me cry. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Gotta get it there. It is very. That's real sad. sad. Yeah. See, look, there go the GoFundMe right here. For me, Count Boy has started bullying, so I'm finna go ahead and click on this GoFundMe. I'm finna pull it up for you guys right here. When is it? All right. Yeah. So. Right now, what you're saying is the GoFundMe account that they have for them. Wow. And at this moment, they have fifty-seven. $1,209. And the goal that they reached, that they need to reach, was 20000 And they raised 57 In two days? In two days. Oh my goodness. 57000 Look to see what it's for. Alright. You can scroll down and you can look to see what it's for. Oh, right. somebody just, somebody actually. Just started it for them. Yeah, it was, uh, I'm not sure who it was, but I know Snoop Dogg, he, he played like a big role in the GoFundMe thing. I think he posted it. I think he donated to it too, I'm not positive. But. Wow. So he started That's a good. GoFundMe account to help the child's future. So hopefully he can yeah. grow, he can be something great. He will be something great. That can probably go toward a college fund or something like yeah. that for him. That'd be good for him. What they need to do is actually start something like to prevent all the stuff that's been happening. Like yeah. probably some type of program with all the money that they've been doing. Get some people and actually, you know, things like that happen similar to the kid. They should probably start that. All right. That would be nice to have yeah. a foundation or something like that to yeah. help against bullying. Stuff like that, yeah. Aww. But another thing I'm going to tell you about, her name is Kimberly... Jones. Mm-hmm. Okay, so these pictures been like going ham. Look, this is his mother. So I know you see that already. Matter of fact, I'm gonna show you on my phone. Oh wow. Yeah. Read it out loud. Says, dear but hurt Americans, if you aren't bleeding, no bones are sticking out, and you can't. Stick. Wait, hold on, I can't see it. It's too small. Mm -hmm. No, I can't. I don't have my glasses on. Okay. Sorry, I don't have my glasses on. It says, if you... No, watch out. You act like I can't read. (laughs) How you acting, man? You (laughs) You embarrassed. Yeah, I ain't embarrassed. Just embarrass yourself. (laughs) I can't see. It's it's micro writing, and I wear glasses. Do you want me to read it for you? No, I can read. I see. <laughs> okay, dear butt hurt Americans, if you aren't bleeding, no bones are sticking out, and you can breathe, stop crying. For the love, some folks clearly never picked a switch. And before y'all start talking to me about metaphorical, emotional, financial, or historical blood or brokenness, don't join a group. Y'all need some porch therapy? 
coffee with Jesus, something fine. Okay. So what that's supposed to mean? You understand that? Because I don't even understand that message. If you guys understand what she's saying on that, you know, comment below. I do not understand what she was saying on I that. I don't personally Look think at that. that anybody who um see who stands who you know Yeah. You see? Alright, this is the second picture that you guys seen right here. I like I said, I don't personally think like that. Most of them are racist. Like I don't really think that the kid is racist, but you never know. The mom could be racist because not everybody is born racist. They got to grow into racism. Yeah. If you look real closely at the mom, I'm going to zoom in for it on you guys. She actually holding a gun in front of her kids, all her kids, with a Confederate flag. Well, guns don't necessarily mean anything. You know, I personally feel like guns are a good thing for you to have around your kids and teach them gun safety. Mm -hmm. I don't think that that's, that personally means that you are racist or anything like that. Is there anything else she posted that might be able to look She at? actually deactivated her page, so nobody can, you know, can go into deep, deep, deep detail. But, you know, people were saying, like, is she either, is she a racist? It says, you can see that the huge Confederate flag was leads to one, one to wonder whether Ken's parents are white supremacists or racist. So they can be either or... Mm. So Which how can you be racist or support white supremacy and you want to be at your child to be not be bullied? Yeah. You know, that's like a conflict of, of interest right there. Mm -hmm. You know, you being a bully if you think if you're a racist. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't you don't want you don't like one group of people or you think that you are more superior than another group, then that's being bullied. That's being a bully yourself. Yeah. So Exactly when I was reading some of the articles, that's exactly what they said. Yeah, the same how words can you, you said. possibly do that? Like, that doesn't even make sense. And some of them said like I still I feel I still feel bad for the kid because Yeah, like this got nothing to do with the kid. It's totally innocent. different with the kid. Yeah, the the kid is totally innocent. No matter what. Least. Yeah, no matter what's going on, no kid deserves to be bullied in school, especially in the situation he's in. You know, that's just not acceptable for nobody to do at all. I feel bad for the kid. Yeah. She mm. definitely should not um, profit from something like that. Yeah, yeah. Especially if she is, you know, and the people who's giving her probably are well off pe black people. Yeah. Asian that's what, people. Yeah, she posting pictures with the Confederate flag and you all know, that. You know, Chinese, you know. whoever, whoever she, she's, you know, against. If you're racist, that means that you feel like your race is superior than... It's more yeah. superior than any, and, anybody and else. The Confederate flag don't mean it's only racist to black people. That means every race. Every race. Yeah, that so means. if you're thinking that, that just because it's a Confederate flag, it means that they don't like black people, that's not it. The Confederate flag means that it's all racist. It's not just black people. So well, just a clear, some people might not think the Confederate flag means Yeah. Racist. Me, some people like, think the Confederate flag means uh, some. Uh, what, what is it that they... Some with the... I forgot, something with the war or something? I just know that you rarely see it unless you hear about the clan. Yeah. Like that. So... I forgot the actual meaning behind it. I just know that you hardly ever see it. Mm -hmm. I don't give me the line about history because I never, ever paid attention to history class. That was like the worst <laughs> subject of mine. I, I probably cheated on people's papers back then because I couldn't stay in history but just knowing the little bit that I do know um, people associated with racism it's mm -hmm. not to say that oh this flag means I'm racist but it's just now associated yeah. with racism alright so I found it and I'm going to read it to you so it says on November 28th 1861 Confederate soldiers and General Robert E. Lee's newly reorganized army of Northern Virginia received the new battle flags and ceremonies at Centerville and Manassas, Virginia, and carried, what do say, and carried them throughout the Civil War. So I guess it got something to do with the Civil War, like the meaning behind the uh, Confederate flag. And it was sometimes called the, what did I say? Burgard. The boat. The Burgard. The Yeah, Burgard flag Bogart. of the Virginia battle flag. So. I'm not saying that the flag like actually means like if you have this flag, you're racist, but you know, 
some of them, some people that actually have that flag really does mean like, you know, stand for that. But you never know. Like, I don't know if she races. I mean, I don't talk to a lady, but it can probably mean, you know, that she represented some of her ancestors that died in the war, who went to war, you know. Yeah, I just, I think this, um, just reading a little bit that I said, it, it's like they, the flag appears prominently in Birth of a Nation. You seen that? That movie by mm -hmm. the Nation. I never seen it. The second Ku Klux Klan, a group inspired by this by this film, was a nativist organization that flew the U.S. flag exclusively. So basically, they're saying that 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 flag had a different meaning before. Then all of a sudden, they transformed the, the meaning of this flag. Oh, so you never man. really know no, yeah. if this if people are doing it for racist reasons or mm. if they really had somebody who fought in the, the war, the civil war. war. I think that was what it was yeah. the civil war. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section. If it wasn't a civil war, just let me know. You know, I'm just not learning this. Pretty sure you guys probably whoever seller are actually have to flag you. Uh -huh. I just I would hope that she's not racist. Yeah, me too. Because that's know? just that's just bad for them. For like that, that, that really makes sad. everything look a whole everybody lot different. different. Yeah, that's why it's like trending right now. Mm -hmm. It's all over the news, TMZ, and all that. They talking about it. It's just sad because she really, you know, she shouldn't even feel any type of way. Because yeah. if you hate anybody, then that you have a problem. You right. hate anybody, then your son is going through the same thing you put other people through. All right. That's sad. That's so sad that she would even. That she would even feel like that. But she should have known, though, that if you post this, people going to want to dig into your life. Mm -hmm. If you post this about your son being bullied and you want everybody to, to see what's going on in this world, everybody they're going to dig in your page. Because, yeah, yeah this, is, this is a messed up video. So they want to know your background. They want to know where you come from. They want to know the type of person you are before this happened. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, they're going to find out everything. So she should have known that. And to be posting a pictures of with a Confederate Church flag, flag, you know, and she was basically, it sounded like from that post that she made, she was talking against, um, probably like against the, the Black Lives Matter mm -hmm. type of thing, the Black Lives Matter movement. If you ain't, if you can't breed and you can't, you know, that's, that's kind of crazy for her to say that. Or if you, what she say, if you're not bleeding and you can't breathe and Bones, basically so. mocking the people who have been killed uh, by police or um, being beat or, you know, brutalized in the past, you know, these mm -hmm. past situations that happened, basically mocking what's going on with them and the people who, pro who, protest, and, who protest and for them, mm -hmm. she's mocking them. So basically, if this ain't happening to you, you shouldn't say nothing. But look what's going on with her son. All right. This is happening to your child. So if, if nobody said anything about what's going on with your child, then how would you feel about that? Right. You would want somebody to go to bat for your child, just like everybody sharing this video and talking about it and, yeah. and all donating, this stuff. Donating money, yeah. Thousands of dollars. You would want somebody to do that for your child, just like the people who lost people through through uh, through this uh, violence of the police and everything that's going on in, now. They want somebody to be a voice for them, so what's wrong with that? Yeah, man. That's it, y'all. If you guys enjoyed that discussion from me and my mom, you know, she knows, if y'all see, she know a lot more about it than I do. You know, she been through some of the situations way more than I have. She knows, like, real life situations and all that. I'm still growing. She's about 85 years old, so she's seen it all. I'm 87. Like 80, 89. I to go to 199. 102. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. If y'all enjoyed that video, go ahead and smash that like button, comment, and subscribe for your boy. Turn on the post notifications if you enjoy. I told y'all, man, I'm a rapper, mom. I'm telling you, I'm finna be the next. Mm -hmm. 21 Savage, the next Drake. See, that's the, what the, I'm the, the next, the next. Where you going? You, uh, you said. No, you so much you're gonna be a rapper. Be next, I ain't trying to hear that. The, the next, uh, yeah, man. Without further ado, I'm telling y'all, man. If y'all enjoy that, go to smash that like button, comment, and subscribe for your boy. You gotta do like this, mama. Come on. I don't want you to. You gotta do that. Go turn on the post notifications if they enjoy. I'm telling you. I feel <laughs> stupid doing this. Dab on. Dab on. I'm gonna go ahead and let my mama finish her little uh, old lady formula. You know, she got a. She ain't got no teeth if she.
She like this, her teeth gonna fall out. Her denture's about to yeah, fall out. Yeah, her about to fall out. So I gotta go feed her, cause she can't feed herself, obviously. What it is, what it do? You gotta say it too, for man crew. Mama do. Why I gotta do it? To okay, we um, gotta do it together? Yeah, yeah, ready? Okay, come on. Ready, set, go. What, what it, it is, is, what, what it, it do? Bruh, man, crew. Bruh, man, can I have to talk about when I say it? Crew. Swish. Oh, no, 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 no.